I want you to pray saying this, take this away from me, but if it be your will, I will accept that will. Because that is the perfect will for me. And that's why, it's that sense of, it's that sense of example, that sense of, that, that sense of template, mold of life that he gives us, those footsteps that we are supposed to walk in to reach our destination. This is what he wants to show us. In the Epistle to the Romans, we read, and, and you, you will know this verse off by heart, 12.2, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And so for me to give up my will, I need to be transformed. Because conforming to this world, and again, as I said yesterday, the day before yesterday now, um, this world is not a bad place. This world is created by God. When we speak about the world, we speak about the negative things in the world, the, the material nature of the world, the, the mortal nature of the world, the, the, the nature of the world that pulls us down and, and, and weighs us down and takes away that liberty that we have. So we're told not to be conformed to this because it, it's, it's life-threatening. Don't be conformed to the death and the limitedness of the world. But be transformed. And the only way you can be transformed is through the renewing of your minds. That renewal, that renewal that is in our Lord Jesus Christ. That metanoia. That change. Again, intentional and conscious. You see, life with God doesn't happen haphazardly. It's not a chance event. You know, it can start by a chance event, or what we think is a chance event, but it's just God having a way in. But it can't continue like that. And we often want it to continue like that. We often, you know, we want to know God's will and live God's will, but just, you know, if it happens, when it happens, it's okay. I'll, I'll just keep doing my thing, and if I'd happen to trip over God's will somewhere, then that's fine. If it happens to fall and hit me in the head, that's okay. But you know, I'm not going to look for it consciously. I'm not going to look for it specifically or intentionally. If it happens and it suits me, then that's great. But that can't be the way to go. So we need to be renewed in the way we look at what God's will is.